In this segment, we're going to cover removing the brake pads and the caliper mounting bracket. To remove the brake pads, since the caliper's gone, they're, they're slid in, they're held together kind of uh, on some spring tension in some guides, and you just slide them out. We go back and forth, and you want to make sure you grip them tightly. There are silencers located on the back of these units. You want to make sure you don't lose them. Set the brake pad down on the side. The same way with the inner one. They'll just slide out. As you can see, the notches on each edge of the brake pad, that's the um, channels that they slide on back and forth. That's what holds the brake pad in place. And then the brake caliper applies the pressure from the outside. And what holds it in there tightly is two pre-bent, uh, they're kind of a, a spring, spring steel, and they're mounted over the caliper bracket and that's what holds the brake pads in place and keeps them from vibrating, keeps the tension on them. In order to remove the caliper mounting bracket, now we've got the brake pads out, it's two large nuts located in the back and they're 18 millimeter and they're, they're a little bit larger and they're put on with a little bit more torque. So just to let you know, you'll need a little bit more effort to break them free. Break one free, then break the other one free. Once you've got both of them broken free, then you just remove each bolt. They each have a washer on them. You'll want to make sure that it's a lock washer. That you keep that attached with the bolt. There's the second one with the washer. Now this bracket just slides out. It's necessary to remove this caliper mounting bracket because you'll need to get it out of the way so you can remove the front rotors. So please watch our next segment on removing the rotors.